safety risks that come along with hiking leads to the need for rescue teams. Yeah, they're always ready if an emergency occurs. And we met up with a team at a popular local hiking destination to show you how they respond in a moment's notice. You know how they had those bucket lists? This would be like way up there. It's spectacular. It's something somebody, everybody should see. Ricketts Glen State Park, a top destination for adventure seekers. Hundreds of thousands visit each year, trekking through the 13,000 acre park. So much to explore, but all hikers, experienced or not, must keep in mind it can be um, challenging. Lead law enforcement ranger Mick Manival knows the park inside and out. Can I assist you in anything? Or? He's often the first to respond when an emergency occurs. We'll get 911 calls for uh, uh, somebody falling on the Falls Trail, um, and uh, we'll usually try to get as much information as we can. We are uh, the first responders, so we get in here, try to get the first ones in, so we can see what's going on. Because every emergency situation is different, the park rangers have action plans ready to go. We have several access points for, for different spots on the trail. Sarah Durr, Park Ranger 1 at Ricketts Glen, meets up with Ranger Manivol and takes us through one of the access points on their emergency ATV. We have all of our rescue equipment on it, uh, so we have all uh, first aid kits. It's the fastest way to reach victims deep inside the park. Once they're on location, they grab the gear and start the hike to the injured. We can go this way here. Chris Stefano and I assist the Rangers for a rescue training mission. We make it down to a popular waterfall where rescues are sometimes needed. Yeah, I can't even put any weight on. Oh, okay. Chris volunteers to demonstrate what happens when there's a severe leg injury using bandages. We're going to tighten that up really tight so he can't move his knee too much. We stabilize the leg and place him on a backboard. We're going to carry you up the trail a little bit here. It takes strength over this terrain. Ready? One, two, three, straight up. There. Now, we take our time, careful with our foot placement. Watch, it's really rocky. Once a patient is back to the access point, they're driven off by ambulance or ATV for their next step of treatment. And while emergencies do happen, hikers shouldn't be deterred. With the proper footwear and gear, a hiking partner, and staying alert, it's a sight you should see. It's just a spectacular walk and hike that you can come and see. And so one of the biggest setbacks specifically at Ricketts Glen is the fact that there's no cell phone service when you're out None. there. And the radio signals don't get across very well either. Mm -hmm. So if you do run into a situation where you have an emergency, they say the best thing to do is to get someone else who's walking along the Falls Trail if you see someone else and have them go to an access point where they can call for help because that's the best way to get help to where you need it to be as the fast as you can. You know, I thought it was interesting too if you're not wearing the proper footwear because they see people out there with flip-flops. It's and amazing. Like you it really can, is you just can, walking around. Well, you can get cited and you can get fined, and you'll have to pay a ticket for being out there mm -hmm. and essentially participating in dangerous behavior. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean, the terrain, I don't understand why people would wear flip flops. It's crazy no, to they, think about. They said yeah. there was someone out there with an oxygen tank that was doing this, yeah. this rigorous hike. So a lot, a, lot of, a lot of common sense, they said, but really opened my eyes to everything that they have to do. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of training. They have several access points, so they're very well prepared. And hopefully if you do you know, go hiking, whether it's there or somewhere else, you just you know, be alert yep. mm -hmm. and have fun. You know, it's all about having fun, but you just got to be safe, Being too. Safe, yes. you know,